than sincere. What is up, gang? Welcome back to the channel. It is your girl Brittany. We are back with another vlog, y'all. So today it looks like our guy came back today to work on lighting. It's been a while. Like he literally hasn't been back since probably the last time I showed y'all update. But and when I showed y'all last week, I mean not last week, last time he had dead. He gotta still come back in. I still I can know how you gonna come back though. His letter is over there, so that's good to know. <laughs> but he did. He had did these lights. Like I said, he still got to, I don't know what he got to do with this, honey, but he got to fix this, okay? He got to fix that, but he did those, but today he came and did some on this side. And I mean, like I said, I don't know what all them other spaces about. I mean, I know you got to probably drill through to get the electrical, but he need to come on, put them in, and go over it. Because I don't like just like holes in the ceiling, kind of get to. Um, <laughs> and then also, I see that he has done... I so like the here in the kitchen. Like right there and right there. Where another one is? Right I only see one new light since there. That's a new one. Just one. Huh? That's just one. That's a new one too. Where? That. That? No, that one not new. This light is old. That one looks new to me. No, because we're changing all of our lights to like the ones that's in the ceiling. So yeah, y'all. The house is still under construction, <laughs> as you can see. I gotta sleep up in here because he has like sheetrock stuff. Uh oh, my nail. Yeah, my nail's not fine. I take my nails off and do them again because it just came off unprovoked. <laughs> it just came off for no reason. I was just pulling my pants up. But I'm gonna change them anyway because I got a set of Juneteenth nails that I'm going to put on. Yeah, I know what's today. Today is the 12th. So I want to go ahead and get them on so that, um, you know, I can have them before Juneteenth and no, after. So anyways, you guys, for dinner today, I had put a roast in the crock pot. And I got right on a second. I put me a roast in the crock pot this morning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good old hot roast in the crock pot. I did pan fry this morning. Um, I did pan fry it, so that should be good. And then I should have added some more veggies. I should have added some more carrots and celery and stuff. But it's cool. What the onion? Did it break up? Okay. This is what it's looking like. It's so tiny, I feel like. You know, if I have me some leftovers for tomorrow. Let me break it apart some. I gotta go ahead and make the rest of my sides. Just breaking this apart while it's in the crock pot. So when I fix our plates, all I gotta do is put it on top of the mashed potatoes. There we go. I'm gonna cook it for like oh, no. um, Look at this. 30 more minutes on high. Hey, see, see, while I cook see, see. the rest of the stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna make some simple side shawls to go with it. Today we don't have any football practice. We don't have practice on Wednesdays or Friday, so I had time to cook today, so I'm gonna do some green beans. I don't know, I do my little canned green beans, but I hook them up. Italian green beans, I like the seasoned ones, they be good, but I add my own seasoning, of course. It is already give it a better flavor than the, um, that natural flavor that it be. I only like in that natural can taste. Do you like that? The boys are starting on their homework. So yeah, I have to do that. And what if I'm doing? Mashed potatoes. That's gonna be a quick one too because that we're doing instant. I got some instant potatoes here. I got some buttery home style. Do I any family style? I got three packs so. though. Get some mashed potatoes. And then. I'm gonna do um, some dinner rolls. So that is dinner for tomorrow. Yeah. That's dinner for tomorrow. So let's go ahead and get that 
that though. I'm gonna go change clothes though. I got on my little cute little, my little cute little two-piece outfit. But baby, it's a little warm. I know I didn't have to go sit outside for two hours today, so I didn't mind putting the phone. But baby, I gotta go take it on out. Okay. So let me get comfy, y'all. Let me get this dinner on so that we can eat good and early tonight. Babe, wanted to bring the boys out to ride their bikes. Dinner is done. It's still early, six something still. So yeah, he wanted to take them out to ride their bikes. I finally let Rocco come out the house. But hey, Rocco, ah, Rocco, Rocco, don't get in trouble. Come on, come here, Rocco. Finna get your privilege revoked that quick. Let him come outside because he be at the door crying. Hey, we're not doing that. Try to let him come. You want to come outside? Be at the door crying. I'm like, if you can sit your butt down right here and just chill, we don't know how to do that. Uh uh. Come on. we chilling. we hanging out up here. Come on. This way. Let's go. You won't never come out this front door again. Don't do nothing crazy. Come sit your butt down. Come on. This way. That's why they run their bikes. Dinner is done. So I'm gonna again. I'm just gonna fix the plates. I'm gonna come to eat. I'm ready to eat. I'm like, can we eat? The boys are about finished with their homework. They're on the last sheet. So yeah, I'm almost done with that. Yeah, y'all. A nice early night. Come on, chill. Just sit down. Sit. You can lay in the grass. You can sit in the grass. Hey. If he won the race. Where your collar at, Rocco? Why well, won't focus on my boys? About time to get their training wheels off their bike. When whooped their heads off last year when he was five, they're gonna be five. Or when he turned six, did he wait till he turned six to get it off? Hold on. Yeah, y'all. A lot of people would be asking me about my braids. I'm like, oh my god, they still look so good. How you like, is this human hair? So, yeah, I know it is human hair. I might show y'all in the morning what I do, my little routine my braids that I do in the mornings because it was like your braids look so good and like fresh and healthy and not dried out and stuff so I'm probably show y'all what products I use in my hair to like have them just looking good and detangle and the curls be popping and stuff I'll show y'all what I do simple little routine honey but it makes a lot of difference. At first, I didn't touch my braids for like the first two weeks. And they started looking like, my well, I need to start putting in these braids because the human hair was doing some craziness. So I had to get my little routine. I had, and I didn't switch it up since even then. What y'all see? But I was like, how y'all braids still look so good? Like the only thing is like the roots, honey. I need to get like these three layers redone. Cause baby, oh yeah, the new growth is new growth thing. But I had them for like a month now, so that's good. Ooh, good luck, they coming up, y'all. Yeah, I'm done. 
Let me wash hands with five plates. So look, look at my meat. and green beans. They have bread too, y'all. Wow. They have a wasi that. And put it. Karen said her last name. No. I don't have Karen said her last No, I didn't. Fresh morning braids. Haven't done anything to them yet. But I'm about to do my little daily maintenance. Um, today I'm not that bad, so. I don't have to like comb through them, but if I do have to ever like detangle, I will use this brush to do so. Um, today I'm not gonna do that, and plus I'm running late, so let's hurry up. My spray bottle, some water. I just spray them. If your braids are already in the condition where they already need some detangling, you'll use your brush now, like you'll literally just. Go through them with the brush while they're wet. I'm starting in a good place because I've been taking care of my braids. Okay. All right, just get it saturated. Try not to forget about the back up under. Y'all know. That's where most of the time your hair gets matted when you have curly hair it's underneath. And then nape. So don't forget about that area. So yeah, if you need to do any tangle, get your brushes, get your brushes, it's okay. You gotta use a brush like this. Get your brush, brush through that thing. Like that there. Okay. Sometimes I do go in with this right here. Hawaiian Silky. I have not really been using this. I probably use this like once a week now. The Hawaiian Silky. This is like a conditioner. Miracle worker type stuff. I use that once a week. So I've already used it this week. So I'm not going to apply that. But what I do use is a product that my children actually use. And my husband use on their hair. Which is this Puma Nature Argon Oil. And it styles shine foaming mousse and it creates soft wraps, defines curls, prevents frizz, and adds exotic shine. So this works wonders for, like I said, my kids' head and my braids. So I literally go in with 10 pumps. Or you can go five at a time and do each side. Five pumps on one side. I'm going to go all the way through the braids. On one side of my head, five pumps is just the perfect amount I've discovered. <laughs> All right, and then another five pumps on the other side. Yeah, from the top to the bottom. This makes my braid soft. Takes out all that frizz from the human hair. And then, you see they already look great and when they dry, the curls are gonna be popping. But just for some added, and of course this is human hair, so it's gonna do this. It's my brother's birthday today, y'all. So I'll tell my birthday, happy birthday in the comments. Today's June 13th. He is 18 today. So my family in the group chat chatting and stuff. So these are my other two products that I use. Um, this is a salon protection shine and mist olive oil anti-breakage. And then this one here is a Cantu Shea Butter Super Shine. They just make them look good. Kind of go through my scalp with this one too. I want to just make sure my scalp is getting moisturized as well. But I go through the entire thing of braids. And just put a little bit of this in the palm of my hands. I'm going to get the 
tell. You probably can't. I didn't put much. Rub that in. And finger back through my head as well. My braids. For one, smells lovely. They're gonna be they're not gonna be looking dry and crusty. And yeah. They just look good. And like I said, yeah, I next time I put the camera up, I would have had them been outside of everything. So the curls will be back. Um and also like pieces like this, I cut out. Pieces like that, maybe I cut out because we're not trying to leave nothing in our head that looks a mess. This right here, get rid of it. Let me do it in smaller pieces why I don't put a whole darn braid. We get rid of stuff like that. We don't want no tangles. If anything is tangled, cut it out. You don't need it. It ain't gonna matter. You don't gotta hold on. Don't hold on to it just because. Let's see, I can go through my hair. If you can't go through the hair, if it's a piece that's stopping you from going through your hair, cut it out. Cut it out. Alright, child. Let me get these kids to school. Throw this away. And I will see you guys later on. Okay? What's up, you guys? So, I just got home. I took Wolf to practice. I'm gonna have some gas, y'all. I really had to get some gas before I went and got from camp because your girl was on 20 miles. And I was like, baby, I don't know if we're gonna make it with the traffic and stuff. So, I had to go put like $20 in my tank. Didn't get me nowhere, okay? Um, dropped my off at camp, and then went to Sam's and still had to put 66 in to get full. But, anyways, y'all, came home. Our contractor was over again today. And we got a couple more improvements. So, first things first. I told y'all a while ago. We had a ceiling fan in our room. Um, that never worked. The whole entire time. Which has been seven years now almost. We moved here. Wilson well, was born in 2017. So, we moved here 2016. I think like October 2016. We closed on the house. It was around Fortune birthday when we closed. And yeah. All these years, we our ceiling fan didn't work. But voila, y'all guys, we got a new ceiling fan, and it works. Let me see. Let me see what it looks like. Cause I didn't even get to see what it looked like out the box. Oh, it's cute. It's cute. It's brown. Goes with the headboard. Okay, ceiling fan. And then I noticed, I didn't even know. Well, I knew it was getting lights all around. The only thing is, I didn't mad because he was just leaving shit everywhere, okay? I was just leaving stuff. He got stuff downstairs that he just left. The floor is all chalky everywhere. I just want to get a broom and a freaking mop and go through the whole house because downstairs looks like construction zone. Upstairs now looks like construction zone. Anyway, y'all. Um... I go down. When I go downstairs, I try downstairs. But look, y'all, we got lights in our hallway now too. I feel like the lighting is just gonna look so much better in the house. Like it's making it look give a modern look. Like it looks better. Like the house. I'm like, why does it look so bright and open or something? Like all of a sudden, like getting those old light fixtures out. The globe kind. Even though we had the bright light type of light on there. This just makes the house look modern. Once we paint these walls and everything, it's going to look so good, y'all. And then, <laughs> look, my boys got them a ceiling fan, y'all. My boys got them a ceiling fan. Okay, we got to get the different lighting in here, though, because what? This is tacky. <laughs> this is tacky. How are we going to have all this? Hold on, I didn't even see what color like mine was in my, um, in my room. But they're gonna be so happy. Like yesterday, sincere. Fortunately, I went and bought the um. He had went and bought the ceiling fans. I think on today Thursday, so maybe on Tuesday. And sincere asked me yesterday what was in the box, and I told him, well, "Yeah, he should have got one for this room. This room has a ceiling fan. We need to get that same fan. Cause I think that's the same. Yeah, we need to get that same fan, and we need to change the lighting in the closet room." We still got that bulb. So once we change it to this type of light, that'll look good. What we got in here? Oh, we got the bulbs in here, so that's fine. 
I gotta see. Let me see what the light look like in here. It's probably that brown too. Oops. Mm, yeah, I mean it's not brown. It's not as bright though. I mean it's brighter than the boys' room. It look like. All right, y'all. Yeah, my lash is absolutely crazy. It's been crazy all day because y'all, I was so emotional today. I told y'all earlier it's Bryce's birthday, so I'm picking the birthday polo. I just began super emotional. My polo lash was just coming off, and it's been struggling all day. Oh my god. Cause I was crying. I'm like such a baby. Jane, come. He's like, why are you crying? Cause the price day today. Fuck yeah, you are you crying? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, y'all, then tonight is Sloppy Joe's. Sloppy Joe's got some extra meat, honey. So yeah, I probably could have made one pack, but I only made two. I'm starving though, so I'm finna go in on Sloppy Joe.